Oh, yes, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Are you going to have a look at Mary Landon, are we? Oh, aye. Yes, 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 we might. Antihero. Something I tried last year at PAX. Enjoyed the hell out of it. Something of a kind of digital one versus one board game involving taking over London with a gang of thieves, urchins, and miscreants. This is the final release. It is out today, so I thought I would play it. Had the code for like a week, but there was a uh, full review embargo up till today, so I didn't bother playing it. Generally, don't bother playing games that have embargoes like that up until they're actually relevant and people can play them. I say, I may, if this goes well, do a video on this tomorrow. <clears throat> All right. Let's dive straight into the campaign, shall we? Uh, just double check settings. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, also, if I recall correctly, uh, sorry, unfortunately, the uh, music, uh, tan if I go out of the window, it turns off. There is one thing. There's a secret code in this game. And it's quite relevant. Yes, that is it. That is it. If we put in the secret code... Uh, I love cocks. Then I believe you can utilize the total biscuit thief. So I'm told. Oh, sorry, that's the Jesse thief. Apparently, they they asked me if uh, they they wanted me to put because they sent me this PNG that has a total biscuit thief. Uh, they asked me what code I would like for it. I'm putting I love cocks. And I think unlocks the Jesse thief. Um, I need to. I need to tell them that, because uh, I, I never actually got that back to them. All right, what, what code should I give them? Anyone got a suggestion? What secret code should I give them for unlocking the Total Biscuit Thief character? Any suggestions? Anything useful? If not, I'm going up with something myself. I'm thinking all fanboys must die sounds like a good one, yeah. How about all fanboys must die as a code? There we go. I've emailed the, de the developer, so we'll see what they have to say about that. All right, let's dive into the campaign. I think, I, I think I've think i unlocked the Jesse Thief. It never gave me a confirmation. The Master Thief ran his guild in a small corner of a city ruled by violence, corruption, and greed. We won't claim he made an honest living, but he got by. And what other choice did he have? The elites who ruled the city lived like kings while the masses starved. Whether above the law or... Let's pop the volume up a bit on this cutscene. Uh-oh. <laughs> Clicking back in actually uh, jumped out of the cutscene. Whoops! Never mind then. Yeah, bad things basically. Alright, there was a rival thief moving in on our territory. Establish your guild and drive them back. Oh, I think am I already in it? Yeah, it might be the it might be that model. I don't know, maybe. I think there was a altered one for it. All right, run your thieves guild, scout the city, steal everything, bribe, blackmail, and assassinate to win. Master thief scouts fogged areas and burgles houses. That's your main character right there. So they need to tap, 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 really tap. Come on, you can do better than that. There we go. Popping over there. Let's burgle the house, shall I? I get me some cash. There is indeed more to be stolen. So we can go in again. Small buildings can be burgled twice. The second burglary is less valuable. Each one of these actions is taking... I think the lantern right there is the indication of how much... How many actions we have. I think. Scouted. There we go. Oh no, no, it's not. That's uh, that's how you get research. Yeah, I remember now. It's been a year since I played this. Buildings with banners above them are businesses. Urchins can infiltrate them. Infiltrate businesses provide resources and upgrades. So we need uh, we need some orphans. We need some lovely, lovely orphans. Press the guild button to upgrade. Each journey can buy upgrades for your guild, and they cost lanterns. Get lanterns from infil infiltrating the trading houses. case if we unlock cooking it unlocks urchins and gives us a free child yay let's get a free child shall we there we go so i've got my orphan 
And I can send him now to infiltrate the trading house. All right, then. All right, Governor Shiny Shoes, can I have some more? More? There we go. So now I'm earning some gold and I'm earning some lanterns. Bear in mind, the other player, this is a one versus one, the other player, and you can play this online. I, basically, I should play this against Jesse once I get the hang of it. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. That may very well be a video or a stream. There's, they're the action points. They refill every turn. So you're playing against another Master Thief who can do exactly the same thing as you do in a city that is randomly generated every time and you have complete fog of war on. So you're trying to develop your guild in the most optimal way possible while sabotaging the other person's, gu person's guild. And in order to win, you need to accomplish, I think, three objectives before the other person does. There we go. If I remember correctly, like I said, it was over a year ago when I last played this. I love the aesthetic on it. It's so good. Scouting and burglaring use action points, but moving to an already scouted tile is free. So I can I can move there. That was not scouted, so I believe that cost me an action point. And if, But if I move there, which is scouted, that isn't going to cost me an action point. Slightly fiddly because it's like behind a building. I wish they could maybe make the buildings partially transparent for when that happens. On my way. Oh, but I did scout because I entered an area there, so that used the point. You're not the only thief in town. Vigrave, a rival thief, has established his own guild nearby. You need to stay one step ahead of him and his gang. Indeed, I will. You're out of action points. Yep, so can't do anything else. End the turn. The Master Thief returns the safety of the guild at the end of every turn. Which is a, uh, it's a limiting mechanic to make sure that you can ex uh, only explore the city at a limited rate. Otherwise, you could just blaze right across the map. Hello, mate. Hello, governor. What are you up to there? It, it seems to be a brigand of some sort. Yep, he spawned a thug. So I've got a lantern. I'm earning it from my trading house. So I got to upgrade. I can get a dagger for my thief, which would let me attack a thug. Alternatively, you know, you can get things like gangs and all sorts of other characters. In this case, we'll buy the dagger. And that means I can use an action Hello. point to knock the thug out. Like this. <laughs> and he's dead. Lovely, lovely, chaply. Now, if I move here, that's free. I can move anywhere. But if I move into that area there to scout, that's going to take my remaining action point. So you do want to be just a little bit careful. If you put your master thief out in the middle of nowhere where he can be sabotaged, that's not good. And the footprints are going to show you where the enemy player has scouted as well. All right. We know a few other places. There's a church over there. There's a bank which he's infiltrated, so we'll be robbing that. There's an estate over there. Get myself a lantern from there, so that means more tech. So there are various strategies. Obviously, this is just the tutorial, but, you know, you might want to rush a bunch of orphans so that you get tech quicker. There's all sorts of different things you can do. But obviously, we're just being taught how to play at the moment. Yep, and you need to steal gold to recruit people. Burgle dark buildings for gold, indeed. Let's go burgle that one, shall we? Lovely! What a beaut! Scout dark buildings for new infiltration opportunities. Cool, we've scouted the church. There we go. Get us a little bit more cash. Great districts have churches. Infiltrate with one urchin to earn one gold per turn. Infiltrate with three urchins to get a blackmail victory point. So basically, you send a bunch of orphans in, they find some blackmail and some local officials, some of the governors, and that will get you a victory point because you can blackmail the governor. So let's buy some children. What? Orphans, orphans, orphans. Every time you buy one, it's going to cost a little bit extra. So we can now send him to infiltrate right, that. Then. There we go. With one urchin, the church earns one gold every turn. So, in theory, I could actually get more than one here, but I believe that uh, the tutorial is preventing me from doing that. If you can't afford an upgrade, you can always take charity. Charity grants a small amount of lanterns or gold for free. There's no downside to charity. Take it whenever you're not buying an upgrade. Yep, so either you buy an upgrade or you take charity. You can't do both, I believe. So that's just what it's a little kind of catch up mechanic. Because you can see, I i mean, I could buy something, but the tutorial's telling me not to, so I would like some lanterns, if you don't mind. There we go. 
I know, half of me always says, like, you should never prevent somebody from doing something in a tutorial like that. Like, when it's obvious that they should be able to do it. And then the other half of me is saying, okay, you're teaching me, so it's okay to stop me from doing certain things. Alright, so I got some lanterns. Can't get a second urchin. I wonder if I can only recruit one per turn. That's probably why. Alright, can't do anything else. End of turn. Oh, he's leveled up his bank. He's put more orphans in it. Now, of course, you know, there is a character that can kick orphans out of those places. So, that's something worth doing. Infiltrated businesses can be upgraded. Send two more urchins to an infiltrated business to upgrade it. Absolutely. I would love to do that. Oi. Recruit ourselves another urchin. And it's going to let us recruit two. Good. Yeah, I, I did think you could recruit more than one button as long as you had the money for it. Let's go. Let's go. Unfortunately, it's blocked, Hello. see? So we're going to have to do a little stabby stabby. <laughs> Dirk shouldn't have got in the way, should he? Right away. There we go. I'm on it. Blackmail acquired. Good. And that's going to give me a lot of gold every turn now. There we go. GG, that's the tutorial probably going to keep teaching me the campaign i'm hoping the campaign's a little more than just the tutorial that would be a bit disappointing but yeah is what it is visit the local pub make some new friends many new friends all right so they're unlocking the the gang this time i'm playing normal for the moment i hope that this should give me a little bit more freedom i hope Alright, here we go. I don't like the fact that it says tap. That, again, like, that should not be in the PC version. I actually pointed that out in them last year, I think, at PAX. I'm like, why does it say tap? And they obviously forgot to change it. Change it. It's not like it doesn't work absolutely fine with the mouse. It totally does. Like, there's nothing wrong with the port per se. It's just a little oversight. Although they could maybe do a little bit more with this font up here. Some of the art like looks a little blurry on some of these screens, which I wouldn't really expect. It's a bit strange. You push you further into the city, you lie, graves a step ahead, establish a new guild, expand your influence. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. A little bit burglary, mate! A uh, a redistribution of wealth, as it were. Green districts have lantern producing trading houses. Infiltrate them ASAP. Yeah. Let's go rob it! Ah, yeah, it's a little cash, a little cash. And we do need ourselves start to the dagger this time, I believe. We need cooking. There we go. So it's only one upgrade per turn, I think. Oh, no, it's not. It's just it increases the side, uh, the cost of the upgrade if you take more than one in a turn. So it's a scaling mechanic. Let's got ourselves a little urchin there. Yeah. Right, Isn't he then? adorable? Look at him. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. What? Create ourselves another one. Right away. Two out of three. And action point's done, so end. So. Mm. Ooh, that's a two health thug. Watch out for him. I don't think uh, you can't. I have to use two action points, I think, to kill him because I stab only as one every turn. Which is why you need a gang. See, he's recruited another thug. Dagger isn't enough for him. Oh my! How terrible. Should recruit ourselves a little yeah. group of friendly acquaintances. Yeah. And you get gold from killing people with them. And you can upgrade. He's got look. It's a nice little stick there. Give him a good old whacking. Sure. There you go. He's gone. I got some gold. Gang levels up when it dispatches enemies. Choose an upgrade. More damage. There we go. He even upgrades his item. He's got a like nice little gold cane instead of a plank of wood now. Love that. That's a nice little piece of detail. Ah. Break his fucking legs. Give him a good clobbering. 
Brown districts of strange fellows clubs infiltrate clubs for thug and gang upgrades. So I'd love to do that. It's supposed to be done with orphans, isn't it? I probably should put the third orphan in the trading house so I get the Oi. upgrade bonus. Oh. There you go. Lovely jabbly! Oh, we're getting two of those every turn now. I think it is a sword cane. Very mole ninja on him. Oh, he's got some blackmail already. That's not good. He's rushing to try and get that victory. You do have to be a little careful about that. It's like, oh, well, we'll just be uh, nice and nice and slow. It's like, nope. The other player is going to make sure that is not going to work for you. <clears throat> Buy bribes in the guild, assassinate for skulls. These are the ways you can win any combination of these things. So assassinate an important person, buy bribes with money, or infiltrate churches for blackmail. So Mr. Vec is over there. He has four health. Perhaps we would need a little bit of a better gang before we engage the fellow. Give him a little, uh, little, little stabby stabby. Corrupt city officials regularly issue assassination contracts. Indeed. Kill him for a victory point. We can try. I mean, <laughs> I can only do one damage with the stab. The gang can only do two, so I don't think we can quite finish him off. Sure. Oh, actually we can. He must have had less than I thought. That gets his victory point. A little bit of cash. <clears throat> Which upgrade do we want? Well, probably uh, more damage. Let's uh, level him up. Oh, he's got cleaver now. Look at that. I'm gonna murder someone else's gang with it. Unlock the thug. Guard Styles joins gangs. Yep. So you can power up your gangs by adding thugs to them. Or use them as individual units. And guard it to block enemies off, basically. Okay. Who you wanna be? My gang, my gang, my gang. There we go. Not as if he had a choice in the matter. <laughs> Glad we leveled them up. That's gonna make murdering that gang an awful lot easier. We have an assassination, an assassination contract over there. Need to get some upgrades for gangs, I think. Also, my cash is very low. We can fix that problem by absolutely murdering this gang. There we go. That should do the job. Max up damage, and then we can get an instant kill on her. And in the meantime, we can go have a, a little look see. I only have two gold, which is not quite what I needed. You can spend your lightens to, lightens to get a bribe as well. Get an extra action. Yup. Sounds good. Or you can buy the bribe. Hey, you know what? I'd rather get the extra action. That will help. What's that? So I'm going to go have a little, uh, little gander. On it. I need some money. Let's go rob a bank. <clears throat> Send an urchin in there. What's Where that? haven't we scouted yet? Let's go have a look at... Let's find out what he's doing over here, shall we? Oh, I don't know. Bit of a mystery, isn't it? All? Let's have a just scout this area out. I do not know what's going on over there yet. Ah, if you leave them, they go up one in HP. All right, worth bearing that in mind. We've got some gangs to murder. Also, you can upgrade their ability to kick urchins out of buildings. That gang is uh, needs another thug in it, because otherwise it's going to die. I'm thinking we just kill the contract at this point, and then use the assassin to eliminate that gang. Yeah. Because we could use the two actions to stab them twice. Of course. Oh. There we go, attack that. <laughs> Get us a contract, and then we just use the remaining two. Oh, you can only use it once. All right, that's fine. I'll uh, we'll get ourselves another thug. 
So we, I just want to make sure this guy, our gang doesn't get killed off. I've invested too much in the gang to have it die this quickly. There we go. I'm going to send the gang in there to evict the orphans because we're horrible. So we got upgrades. Steal the masterpiece. Burgle art from estates for two lanterns. Or we can go up to fine ale or jewelry. Burgle jewelry from estates for four gold. Uh, yeah, that sounds really good. Okay. If we can find an estate to burgle, maybe there's one over there. Let's go over Gander. You've got to scout out the whole area first, though, in order to actually see it. Right, a little bit more work on my part. No backseat gaming, please. That was not part of the deal. We've got some orphans to get rid of. Nasty little bastards they are. Yeah. So how about we kick out an orphan? Alright. Badly jabbly. Got rid of one of them anyway. Want to stop him for getting up to three. And get extra eviction points, so if he tries that again, we can just clear him out. Who is this bastard? Henchman. Neutral henchman patrol the city. They block your path but won't attack them. Kill them with gang for easy money. I'm gonna go burgle this. Ah, it's church. Okay. Good to know. Let's have a quick look at some upgrades. Grab that reinforced steel, maybe. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's burgle it once more. Got also it. means I can put orphans in there to get the blackmail, which will win me the game. An orphan. Send him in. Let's go. Lovely, lovely. I'm gonna leave the assassination target alone because I don't think the enemy can kill that. He doesn't have a well-developed gang because I've killed them all off before he can do that, so. I think I should be alright. <laughs> Plus his master sleep only does one damage anyway. Oh, he sent his other gang in. God damn it. Well, I lost my perfectly well-developed gang. That's unfortunate. I have learned a lesson from that. He's earning plenty of money, but if I get two more orf uh, another orphan in there, I can win. Let's get... Hmm, yeah, let's uh, get rid of his gang first. Give us enough money for another what? orphan, and we can infiltrate. Nice. And if I do charity, I could get four more gold, which should be one more orphan. And that, I think, will let me win the game. What? Let's go. There we go. Nice. That went swimmingly. As I'm starting to see the various strategies you can put into play. Like, a game shouldn't really last very long. It's actually a fairly quick game if you know what you're doing. A lone thief is an unprofitable thief. Lightfinger relied on his second-in-command, Hyde, to enlist new guild members and grow his thiefy empire. Hyde had worked alongside Lightfinger for many years, earning the trust of the guild. He was particularly good at recruiting talented young street urchins. Emma was one such urchin. I discovered her after she made off with his pocket watch. A budding cut purse. Amused, I brought her to Lightfinger, who recognized a prodigious, if untrained, talent. Meet the local truant officer. Yeah, they, I believe, can capture urchins. Explosives, all right. But yeah, the campaign, I don't know how long the campaign is. Like, 
it is you know, the game for all intents and purposes is a one versus one digital board game that's how it's supposed to be played you can play against the ai playing against another person is obviously more fun and if the campaign is lengthy that's great it's a good value add if it's not it's obviously going to limit its appeal It is basically a worker placement game, yeah. So those who play board games, you've correctly identified that this is, for all intents and purposes, a worker placement game in disguise. It's very Euro gamey, extremely Euro gamey. I don't actually think there's any RNG in it at all. All right, let's go have a look. This is also coming out on <laughs> iOS and Android, I believe. Blue districts have orphanages. Infiltrate them for an urchin recruiting discount. Level it up and your urchins can evict enemies. God, just a band of angry orphans. Like, get the fuck out of here! You bastards. And as you can see, we've got more upgrades now, which is good. It's like, oh, it only has those upgrades? No, 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 there's more than that. More complexity, very good. Let's get some urchins up in here. Yes, we will. Oh, that's not how any Englishman works. Let's go infiltrate the orphanage with an orphan. I'll never see it coming. I hope there's even more upgrades than that. I mean, that's a good number, but the more the merrier. I do love more options in my worker placement games. It gives it much more replayability, more depth, more strategy. Just that more, always more. If you think you've got enough, you don't. Have more. Is it all? But yeah, so far, so no RNG, which is good for a Hello. game of this type. But yeah, it's good. you can go with like an orphan sort of rush strategy. And also the strategy is going to be dependent on how the cities are made up, because these are randomly generated. These tiles are randomly generated. I imagine the missions are preset, but when you play regularly, you don't know what's there. So you have to adapt your strategy on that basis. And it evidently wants me to infiltrate the trading house, which is not kind of what I want to do. I wanted to rush orphanage, but it's still teaching me, so. Far as I know, you can, I think you can get a second upgrade. Like there is that upgrade thing, but again, it, that, this is the problem with restricting things too much in tutorials, because if you put unnatural restrictions in a tutorial, you actually end up misteaching people the rules of the game. Like, because right now, I don't know if it's possible to get two upgrades in one turn. I think it is, but I think the tutorial is artificially stopping me from doing that. Off we go. This, it's not something you should do. If you're going to restrict people's options in a tutorial, you need to clearly explain that that restriction is artificial for the tutorial uh. only, because otherwise people end up mislearning. Alright. Indeed, the truant officer. Is he a NPC? I think he might be. He took away all my orphans. What a bastard. Cruel hearted man he is. Buy some explosives to get revenge. Unlock the saboteur. Yeah. Invisible to your opponent. Traps a scouted building and reveals an unscouted building. We can move anywhere regardless. So what we can do is we can set a trap in the orphanage. <laughs> oh, that is a horrible thing to do. Lovely. <laughs> Blow up the orphanage. Oh dear. And they don't return to the guild at the end of the turn. Nice, lovely, lovely. We just uh, eliminate this obstacle. Oi. It's wanting me to go into the orphanage. Oh, so, okay. So we can actually put our urchins in there. The trap, I guess, is outside. We're not going to blow the orphanage up. All right. <laughs> in the meantime, let's. Uh, a little gander. I think in order to scout a building, you have to scout the all the squares around it in order to reveal it. That's my understanding. Hello, Poppins. <laughs> God, yes. <laughs> there we go. That gave me money, and now it also means I can murder the truant officer if I want to. And I will! Because he's a dick. 
and I get cheaper orphans now too, and I should get some money from uh, the wet work. There we go. Thank you, thank you. All right, what do we want? Let's see. I think the additional action is just very good here, so. I think it's let me uh, unlock the multiple upgrades now. That's good. Just the extra action is just generally helpful. I don't see any reason to not get that early. Hmm. Do I want more lanterns or cheaper Let's orphans? Go. Cheaper orphans, if I can get the three, oh, would be good. Well, get me the upgrade. Hello. Let's have a quick gander. If we head over here, we should be able to scout long? out this. And rob it! Another for my pocket. There we go. Out of actions. But there's another trading house there. Alright. Not quite enough for another orphan. I don't know what's going on over there, but somebody's up for some skaldaggery, mate. I think you should scamper up the apples and pears and stay out of the way. All right, let's get that one more orphan so we can na Once we get that, that gets us the upgrade, which lets us use our orphans to kick out other people from buildings. Urchins are now victim enemies. See what we can get upgrades wise. I think gang, they're already sort of doing that. Hmm. We get a nice little boost though. There's some estates around here. If we get art critic, we can get a nice little boost. Like, okay, it makes it a little weaker this turn. Like, that gang can only evict a max of one urchin from here, so you can't do too much damage. If I go and burgle an estate, assuming I can find one, don't think this counts as one? That all is that all count as the training house? Because I clicked that and the thing came down there, uh, but whatever it is, we'll go rob it. See what happens. I think an estate is a specific kind of building. It'll be mine. That means I can get another saboteur. Yeah, I like that. Oh we And we can go set a trap in the orphanage, because I have a feeling he's going to send his gang in there to try and kick my uh, fellas out. And that is not a thing we can accept. So I've got one more turn with my person here. Can I scout this? Yeah, I just scout this area. I want to find out what's over there. Not quite done with the scouting yet. But yeah, your master thief goes back to the guild every turn. It's an assassination contract by the look of it. Yep, thought you might do that. <laughs> Little bastard. That's going to stun the gang so we can go and give him a little bit of stabby stabby, should we so desire. A little short on everything right now, actually. Might take charity. Let's have a think. If I can find an estate to rob, I can get two lanterns immediately. First things first, let's find out what this is. Oh, I think, is that an estate I just thought? No, I think it's just a rich place. I assume an estate is actually a specific building. That's actually a bank, which is still good. We, uh, let's in burgle again. Pocket. And then we can, we can get some orphans in there. I think they're stunned for two turns, so... Getting the trading house up to three would be helpful because we're not generating enough lands every oh, turn right now. So let's do that. Since we can't afford anything, let's just hit charity. There's no reason not to because otherwise it literally is a waste. There's nothing else I can afford. So do I take four gold or two lands? Gold's my problem right now, so let's do that. 
that does also let me get another orphan Oi. this turn. Oh, I'm here. So oh. I can get the trading house up for two. And a saboteur, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. I, all these characters around here are a little concerning. All this makes me think that trading house might be at risk. Oh, yeah. So let's uh, maybe set a trap oh, on the trading house, just in case they try and pull some crap. We ah no! <laughs> damn it! That's uh, oh, I lost all my urchins. Ah oh, damn it! I should have set another one there. Bastard! And they took my trading house. Son of a! I did that wrong, didn't I? Oh, tri trigger the trap. He did try and go into the trading house. Well, that's bad. That's really bad. I lost. I think... I don't know. Do I maintain that upgrade? No, I don't. I lost him. Yep, that sucks. Got a little greedy, didn't I? Best thing I could probably do here is... get another action so that I could start to play catch-up. Then I could do a bunch of burglary and also find out who these guys are. Which will let me catch up and get some figures on the board really quickly. Burgle that. Oh Haven't finished that off yet. Anything else that we can rob in this area? The answer is yes. Literally just burgle everything that can still give me money. That I think... Uh, yep, yeah, we can still do that one. Is it all? And that's going to let me get a okay. few orphans out to try and get my position back. I think I need to replace the bomb because I still think they're gonna he's gonna try to mess with this. Oh we Hello. Speaking of my cash flow problems. Oh yeah, I was about to say my orphans can't evict oh, now, can they? Because I lost control of it. Yeah, and I also haven't scouted that yet. Oh, I'm okay, so we need to hit the orphanage again. Right away. That'll reduce the cost of that, and I've got to, I'm going to place another oh. trap at that training house because he's really trying to do something with that. And I'm glad that happened. Right, we've got to kick them out of that. If I put two more urchins in that, I can send an urchin in to kick people out without having to use a gang to do it. <laughs> Alright, now I have these four actions. That's good. Alright, first things first. There's somebody here. I want to know who that is. Alright, that's easy money for a gang. I don't know if I get points for killing that with, a, with my Master Thief, though. Do I have the lanterns to unlock gang? I do. Let's do that. So, if I give him a bit of a wallop, that's going to get me some money sure. and a level up. So, do I go for... Ev Considering the position with this trading house, I was like, do I go with eviction here? I think I do. Can't do anything with him just yet. I need to burgle and scout this area first so that they can go in. Yep, there's three urchins in there, so I can kick two out now, I think. As for scouting, all right, let's find out what else is going here. Let's It'll go burgle more. this. Ah, the state. That's good. Uh, oh, I need I need the jewelry. Upgrade. Wait, I thought I had an upgrade that I could steal art from it. Do you need both? Steal a masterpiece. Burgle art from estates for two lands. Yeah, why, why won't you let me do that then? That's a bit weird. It's almost like you need both to do that which doesn't really make a great deal of sense. I have one more action. Should really use it to burgle something, probably. Yeah, let's burgle that. I'll take that. Gives us four. Which I was going to say is enough to buy a gang, but... That's strange. It's like, oh, it costs four. It doesn't. Or maybe you could just only recruit one gang every turn. I don't know. 
haven't unlocked uh, the thugs either, so I can't buff my own gang up. Alternatively, what I can do is I can throw one... Uh, yeah, hmm. We do need that bank infiltrated, so Hello. let's send an urchin to that. At least we get a little bit extra money. Yeah, estates maybe have to... Aha! Yeah, that's why. That estate only has jewelry in it. Okay. So the estates either have jewelry or art in them, and you need a different skill for each. Good. Okay. Cool. That makes sense. Give us a little bit extra money every turn. I need to also be thinking about starting to block passage for stuff as well, because I'm kind of giving them free reign around here, which is allowing them to constantly dick me over. deal with this trading house over here. Look at it. He's got like seven lanterns. He's way ahead of me in that respect. We've got to do something about that. So I think what we're going to do is, first things, we're going to kick these guys out of here. Of course. You win by getting uh, the number of objectives. In this case, we need four objectives. There are three kinds of objective you can do. According to this, uh, the... AI hasn't actually done any of them yet, so it's not really a big deal. Alright, I think I want to probably give them... Being able to evict three at once is pretty good. But in this case, I'm thinking we also need to upgrade their damage as well. Because if they have to get into a fight, it's not going to be too nice otherwise. Okay, let's think about this. I get my own truant officer. And that would solve that problem. We do need that. Plus one extra Latin per turn. Should have got that way earlier than I did, really. Hello. First things first, let's go and have a look. Who is this? Okay, it's a henchman. Might as well just kill him. You don't get the gang upgrade from doing that, but at least you do get a gold coin. Might ah. as well burgle that. Which means we can uh, get some more urchins out. What? Should be able to get two. Let's go. Unless I'm fundamentally misunderstanding how this works. I'm on it. Let's get this bank sorted out. What? There we go. Of course. I'll have one last action to take. That's all burgled. That's all burgled. I need a gang in there to do anything. I do want to know what all this is about, so let's go and have a quick look. Ah, there's a church over here. All right. Cool. So we sort of sort our economy out a little bit, which will help. I'm playing catch up in that regard because we do need some thugs out on the street and some guards and such. <laughs> oh, ideal. Because they've sent a guard in there, kicked my people out of the orphanage again. We need to get rid of them. Oh, we can steal jewelry as well. Oh, oh god. That is a lot of money he just earned. That is going to screw me badly. Oh, Jesus. All right. This is a bit messy. He just got a huge bonus. I'm way behind now. Fuck, look at this. I think this is a restart situation. I think I've messed up too much. We'll see if it's possible to come back here. That's a five health gang. Getting rid of that is going to be extremely difficult. Yeah. And uh, what I'll need to do is protect my trading house and bank. Uh, saboteurs will be able to stop that gang from evicting everybody I have. First things first, let's get rid of the henchmen to level up our gang. Secondly, we use some of our money to get a saboteur and guard 
Probably the trading house. I don't think it, th they've scouted my bank yet. No, they haven't. You can see what they've scouted there. So they, they will screw with the trading house. We can set a trap there to prevent that. I can stab him several times, but I can't kill it. Hello? Nor can I kill her with the number of actions I have. We really need to see what's behind there. I use a bit more cash as well. I need, like, basically everything at this point. Got that, got that. Oh, so, a quick look at this first. Alright, so there's a henchman there. Good to know. We'll get another urchin out. There's no point in putting one in there because it'll just kick them right out again. But I can put someone in the church. They have not oh, scouted that area. So let's, since they're ahead, let's try and avoid them for the time being. Burgle a little bit. Is it all beautiful? On it. Well, let's get another raw for now. Or another saboteur, which wouldn't be a bad idea. It's like, if he tries to take that orphanage next, a saboteur would delay him. We do need thugs as well. We haven't got those yet. Let's get thugs out. So we can buff our gangs up and also use them to block passage. Four for a thug. And we get one for free to start with as well. So if we put a thug there, that would block the gang from heading in this direction and evicting... Well, we already kind of have that sorted because we have a bomb there. But bear in mind, if they also have a truant officer, they could send the gang in first to trigger the bomb and then send the truant officer, which would screw us completely. If we put the thug there, that will block access. Although, actually, there's a henchman there who I think is already blocking access. It's kind of hard to tell because it's behind that building. So I'm not actually 100% sure, but I'm going to okay. I'll send this guy over here to guard this area. That's crossroads, which will hopefully slow him down a bit. Uh, last thing I could do is probably... You'll probably get another thug out. I think you can only have one gang at a time. Uh, maybe there's a tech that'll let you have more. We can maybe get another thug to buff our gang up, which wouldn't be the worst idea ever. If we're burgling the same place again, it's going to get us a little bit less something. And is that the best use of my time? I can burgle that. That'll give us two. Ooh, Dark buildings give you two, and I think what the second burglary gives you one. I'm going to get another thug and use that to buff up our gang. Okay. And give us that little bit extra health. Because he's only attacking for two right now, so that'll let him live through it. And I think that's about all we can do this turn. Yep. All right. I don't know if bombs stack in buildings. I do not know that. They might. But one way or the other, that should be pretty well protected. What have we here? No, that's a backseat game. The point is, you use a thug to temporarily block an area. Unfortunately, this did not work out the way I'd hoped. He used his Master Thief to scout all that area and just eliminated everybody in the trading house anyway. So that was unfortunate. Yeah, we've pretty much lost this game, I think. We're way behind. Just using a thug, especially a free thug, to block a crossroad seems entirely reasonable in terms of course of action. What we can now do is kill the truant officer. I should use the gang to do it. Of course. And those are costly, so... Yes, I lost that, but... I did get some benefit from it, at least. Take that. Damage up to four. We do need to just avoid them getting killed, which we can do by getting another thug out and combining it. Okay. Alright, we need to sort this out, don't we? I'm thinking, what can I do now? Saboteur to protect the bank wouldn't be a terrible idea. 
because that's like my only oh, good me. building. I can't really afford to lose oh. that. Let's scout this area so we can get some more things to burgle. Uh, that one's blocked by this woman here. We can kill her though, can't we? Oh, you can only use the dagger once per turn, so I could stab her once. Problem is I don't know who this is. If that's the enemy and I take half her HP and then they finish her off, they get the benefit. have a wee look upgrading thug health seems good right now I like that get thugs up to two won't help against that gang but any a basic gang or a basic thug can survive a hit now Morning. this is a kind of a waste but i really need to know what's Hello. here can I afford another thug? I uh, know. If I burgle two, though, I could afford another urchin. I'll take that. I ordered. Look, the thug dying to their thief and a thug is fine. You're forcing them to use two actions to eliminate one thing. That's a good thing. Right away. Buildings give two coins when they're first burgled and the second time only gives one. Three urchins of bank gives three coins. What the fuck is that? Well, they have a some sort of evil fucking assassin thing now, so yeah. This is this is GG. Alright. Now that we've learned a little bit, let's restart this and do it better, shall we? So we got our ass handed to us on that one. I need to watch out for those truant officers. Yeah, he got to the end of the tech tree, got like the most powerful unit in the game and murdered me with it. So like, okay, we're done. Is it all? Fortunately, it's showing oh the tutorial stuff again, which never really liked that. It's like, we've already seen that. We don't need that again. Okay. So what we kind of know is going to happen is like, yes, grabbing that is great, but if we don't protect it, we're in serious trouble. Also, a thug could protect that area block a truant officer from getting there but you'd have to look at sort of the design of the area they can come in from this direction they can come in from this direction you kind of need two thugs to guard this area the saboteur thing works pretty well what? that is something you can do all right then dlc i wasn't aware there was any dlc is the DLC for this game? I mean, it just came out today. Uh, I'm just checking Steam. Book club characters. I think it's, it's just skins. It's literally just skins, I think. Yep. That's all it is. It's just a skin pack. Literally no benefit at all from that. Is it all? In my pocket? Go. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the trading house immediately this time instead of trying to rush that orphanage. Take two buildings, get that extra lantern, that's gonna help us out earlier. Urchins. Off we go. Got the little animations there, like brutal. Alright, if possible, we should get a gang immediately and use it to kill that guy. 
if we can. But it's probably going to force me. Yeah, it's going to force me into this. Say, so I don't like it when tutorials do that. Do not. It's like, I want to play it my way. Stop it. But I guess I'm just going to have to get through this area in order to do that. Oh. <laughs> That's for you. A little bit of stabbing for good measure. Uh, those are showing us suddenly locked. I wonder I'm doing an entire video on what not to do in tutorials. And like, this is one of them. What? Don't ever use false rules. It confuses people. All right, then. It makes it actually harder to learn. Always, always, always explain yourself if that's going to be the case. All right. We could use that cash pretty mm, early. For me? Well, what have we here? We have bonds. Thank you. And then we can go and murder him. And he is an expensive unit. It was a worthwhile endeavor. We can go double orphan quickly, or we can go straight for the trading house. So I think like the orphanage upgrade actually might it's like urchin to evict enemies is not necessarily Hello, useful considering there are other things that can do that. So I'm maybe not quite so keen on that idea. Let's get the gang and use that to uh, to kill him. Oh yeah, because that'll also give us an upgrade for him. So let's go. That is a good thing. You'll get your splat. I think there's another henchman there, so I think we go one gold per kill, and the next time we can get the henchman. He might throw another one at me. What? I think what we do is do that. We use a turn to burgle once. Is it all? Which gives us enough for another orphan. That gets us the trading house fully controlled. Alright then. There we go. Which is gonna let us get some tech. And we'll probably scout, because I'd like to know what that is. Henchman. I wonder what the Jesse skin is, though, and also how you use it. Not much in the way of the settings menu. Or if that code even worked, really. Alright. So we can use this to batter that henchman to get another quick level up. And two gold, by the way. That's a good upgrade. So look at our lanterns. Thinking you get scout like immediately, because why wouldn't you? It's too good otherwise. Too good not to. So there's a last time we checked this area, there was a bank here. It'll be mine. That was church. Okay, yeah, I keep forgetting it moves around every time. It's not the same every time. So that got us a couple of gold. That's good. So we could immediately send two orphans into the bank, which would be nice. And there's a... We're guarding this area here with a gang, which should obstruct a truant officer coming down here. So this area should be safe. Hello. I'm not so worried about getting one orphan kicked out of that. Let's That's go. not the worst thing to ever happen. I think we maybe get just this, uh, get the bribery, bribe immediately, couldn't we? Hmm, let's see. I do have two more actions, so I can scout this area. That is the most efficient way to do it. You rob what's nearby, and that immediately gets you the scout of the area around it. Okay, so that's an estate, which I can't currently rob. I need an upgrade for that, I think. He's taken something here. 
We'll do one more burgle. Mm, which gets us a... Still think what to do this orphan here. Hmm. Probably send him to the church, I guess. And we could, yeah, I mean, let's just grab that now. Like, right might as well have the victory point. And if possible, we can get the skill to burgle out of state. We could rob that quick. And that would give us a nice bonus. Because I'm pretty sure that he d robbed two estates early last time, which meant that he vastly outteched me. Uh, he has a gang around there beating up. Wow. That's a well upgraded gang if it's getting three. We should kill it. And we can, because it only has two HP, so we can jump the bastard and get some money from it. That's our art estate as well, so we can grab that now. First things first, though. Sure. We can kill him, get three gold, and get rid of his well of graded gang, which is excellent. Want to upgrade damage again or gold? Really, really could use those thugs to up that HP. Mm, let's go damage. Alright, scout the estate. Is it all? Burgle it. Oh, it's being guarded. Can I spawn somebody that would kick them out? Ah, it's my last action. Fuck. If I get rid of the guard and then they're able to move in, they could take it right from under me. That would suck. Unless killing the guard then lets you burgle immediately, which I don't actually know, honestly. But yeah, I don't have a... I don't have thugs unlocked, so I can't use it to do that. All right, let's just attack and see what happens. They haven't scouted this area yet anyway, so I think I'm okay. Yep. Unfortunately, no more actions. Sucks. But hey. Um, I'm going to put a... There's a bit of sneaking around here I don't really like. I'm going to get a saboteur, and I'm going to... Put a bomb on the trading house. Not... I, I don't want to lose that. Not early. That's what's giving me my tech. Well, hopefully, since I haven't scouted that area, they don't suddenly go in and rob it before I can get in. They've got all those buildings. Oh, it's good, good. Thank God. I was about to get screwed by the looks of it. The saboteur was the right call. I am God. Thinking thugs right now. I have that well leveled up gang. I do not want to screw that up. So we're going to grab that. That gets us a free thug, which lets us level our gang up. Okay. We want to rob the estate now. Yep, with the mouse thief, yes. That's going to get us big money. Well, big lanterns, actually, not big money. There we go. Which means I can get a second upgrade, I think. Lamplighter would not be bad. Yep, let's grab that right now. The earlier we get that, the uh, more valuable it is. And we can burgle it again for money. Which means more urchins. I want to find out what that is that I just knocked out. Oh, it's the truant officer. How fucking unfortunate for you. Let's go. He's dead. Thank God I put the saboteur on that. That would have been hugely damaging. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Let's put uh, more gold in the kill right now. Got seven gold. We can go lots of urchins. We can grab this area right now. Hello. If we want. Half of me thinks I don't want to do that. I don't know who that is. This, it's still very possible that they could hit this area again. Oh. So I'm thinking let's uh, just saboteur, saboteur it again. Plus, of course, if they keep coming around here and throwing truant officers at it, get stunned, I could just murder them with my gang. 
So that works pretty well, all things considered. Let's go. Yeah, uh, let's in. get an urchin right in there. Uh, that's what we got. Good. If the Master Thief infiltrates a bomb, bomb building, they get stunned as well, I think? Which would be really bad. Uh, it might just be characters that get stunned. Yep! Oh, look! It's a gang! What we can do is we can poke it, and then we can use our gang to kill it. And that's a well-upgraded gang, too. You invested a lot in that. That is so very unfortunate for you. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. How badly this went. Yes, we're not using the dagger, we're using our gang to kill theirs. For four gold and a level up. Oh ho ho, it's too good. Yeah, saboteurs are amazing. Use saboteurs. And now we can start getting extra eviction. So we can screw that up. Although actually, maybe we do get one more orphan and just send our orphans in to do it. Why use our gang when we can use our gang to murder people? I think we hit that with one more orphan, what? which gives us the orphan what evict upgrade. We then scout those areas and start kicking people out. This one in particular, don't like the fact that they've got that. Is it all? Is it all? Beautiful. They got. Did they already take it? I don't think they've got everybody in there yet, so we can use the urchins what? to evict now. No, I haven't scout. Damn it. Given you can't send one anybody in until you scout. I need to stop doing that. I'm thinking uh, we're going to have to do another saboteur there, because he's going to keep trying to hit this, and we've got to stop that from happening. But we're getting a nice little trade here. They come in, they hit the bomb, and then the gang murders them. Rinse, repeat. Expert scout. Yeah. That solves our problem. Because now we can check that out and send the urchin in. There we go. That means we can kick their urchin out. Oh, All right, then. And gain control of the building. Just perfect. Now we could just send the gang to murder Friar Barnacle once we scouted out for an instant victory point. We'll lose the urchin, but they lose the money they're gaining from that. Not to mention the control in my area of the city. I am God. Look at all these characters. Yep, here he goes again! <laughs> this keeps working! Bear in mind if this was a human player, it wouldn't. Oh yes, please, by all means, upgrade the gang so I can get even more value when I kill you. Perfect. It's a perfect crime. What could possibly go wrong? Obviously, if this was a human player, they would not keep doing something that stupid. It is not a human player, and they are doing something that stupid. I'm thinking they're gonna want to, he's going to want to try and get an assassin to instantly murder my guy. Because that's a really strong gang. Well, oh. if if it keeps working, oh. keep doing it. Look at that shiny hat. So it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And we can send the urchin to infiltrate oh, the church. Hey, okay. He's going to go churching. Scout, scout. I want to know what this is. Who the fuck is that? Who's sneaking a bat? I also need to know who that is. Let's just have a look. Yep, that's someone who needs to be horribly murdered. Oh and I can way. do that. Assuming the gang doesn't have another arsehole to kill. Like, leaving those up is not necessarily bad because they obstruct people coming around, but they also obstruct me. So, you know, I do need to check this area out. And if I do that, I can Morning. scout this whole area. Get a bit of an idea of what's going on. Three lanterns remaining. Reinforced steel. Oh, that lets you get a second gang. All right. That's nice. The alternative is I just get two bribes, uh, two lanterns, and instantly hit the first bribe. But I'm kind of ahead of him right now anyway, so let's get reinforced steel. Make my master thief do two damage. Cheeky baggers. Huh. 
Ooh, there's more art there. Cool. That so that actually respawns after a time. Good. That's that's a benefit. I only evicted one urchin. That's fine. So that means there is either a thug around there or a gang. In the case of this gang, I'm going to use it to immediately murder the assassination target for a victory point and money. Which means we could send a thug around there to probably finish them off. Let's find out who it is first. I do want to rob this a lot. Uh, that'll take, what, two, two action points to do? So we can scout this, find out who that is. Alright, that's a gang with 3 HP. And only two attacks, so I'm not under threat here. Let's go attack the guard and then rob this for two lanterns. And then we can get a high level upgrade. I'll take that. Which lets us get the bribe. Uh, that would get us up three victory points, not four. So we're not quite done yet. But, actually, we have the money to... Yeah, we can win now. Okay, so we get the first bribe, and then we get two orphans to take the church, and that's GG. Hello. All right, then. Oi. There we go. Of course. Nice. Not bad. Three victory points in one turn. <laughs> Bit nasty, isn't it? I still want to know if the Jesse unlock actually worked. I don't know if that's like just an avatar or a character or what. I don't know how you can tell, honestly. By the way, you get, there's a ton of customization. As you can see here, you can do a bunch of house rules and skirmishes, different areas. Difficulty levels, you can do hot seat play, and of course you can do online play as well. I don't have an account yet. I'm just gonna quickly switch this up so you do not see my email address. Let's see what's available in the online mode. This is really good, by the way. This is this is exactly the kind of game. It's right up my alley. It's excellent digital board game. Yeah, if the uh, Jesse Cox avatar is unlocked, then it doesn't appear to have done anything. Uh, just just going to quickly go back to that email for a second. So it might just be a skin, or they may not have implemented it yet. So these guys were at, um, I think Versus Evil was at CoxCon, which is why there is a like Jesse character in there. They've activated that animated character. Yeah. So, in theory, that should unlock. Maybe I typed it in wrong. It doesn't give you a... Um... There we go. Oh, there's no exclamation mark. That's why. Yeah, so the, the guy who emailed me put an exclamation mark in. I have unlocked the Jesse Cox avatar for use in online play. Thank God. Something I will never use, but hey. All right, let's go back to the campaign. Yeah, so you can you can pick again. Just want to make sure it doesn't show my damn email address, and I'll show you what this looks like. There it is. Yep, there's a Jesse Cox avatar that you can use if you own the game. You just type in "I love Cox." Yes, C O X. Har 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 har. Alright. Corrupt clergy! Visit the Lord's house, pay respect to the clergy, and befriend fellow supplicants. Alright, let's see what happens. Is there a reason why the avatar exists? I could not say. <laughs> All I know is there is I've seen there's also a total biscuit one, but it's not it doesn't have a code yet. 
I think they just did it because we checked their game out at PAX last year. Like, we didn't really do anything. We haven't supported the game in any way. We just happened to look at it at PAX and they, I guess, decided, hey, we're going to put stuff in. That's up to them. You know, they drew their own art. It's not either took ours. That's fine. I have a problem with that. Unsatisfied heiress who plays at being a thief for thrills. Avoids direct conflict. Ah, cool. So, the different thieves in the campaign have different abilities. Five churches on the map. But watch out for thugs. Alright. Well, I'm glad that this campaign is more than just a tutorial. Obviously, that would not be, in my eyes, particularly interesting if it were not. Alright. Let's have a look around. Let's... What, to, what can we see? So... We know there are ch there's a church there and a church there. Uh, there's We need five victory points to win, though. Which is quite a lot. Rushing doesn't seem like something that would make sense. Considering there's a lot of thugs, I'm thinking actually getting a gang early is not the worst idea. Especially if we can... F if she has a lot of thugs, that's immediate cash and immediate level-ups. So I think we're going to go straight for the gang, not the urchins, first turn. Oh, yeah. And we'll get the urchins after that. Because that gives you the free gang. I'm not sure if we can find an urchin sort of in time. This is this is sort of as far as you can go with a scout in that direction. I'm not sure what exactly the limit of scout movement is, honestly. This is where their guild is, so... It just seems to be limited in some capacity. I just don't know what that capacity happens to be. Thug's going to do one damage. So moving... I don't know. There's no benefit to that being there, is there? We should we should never move that close by because they can't defend themselves. So... Uh, maybe getting the, uh, the gang the second turn is the better idea. All right, well, I didn't know. It is what it is. Three shadow tiles is the limit, okay. It seemed like the character I played before that was able to do a lot I'm more than gonna... that. Maybe it's that specific character that was able to do that. Alright, now we need urchins. We can't actually do without that, obviously. A little wee bit of burglary. It'd be good. That? Like, who is this, for instance? I would like to mur murder them. Yeah, it is three tiles. Yeah. Like, that henchman is money. So, we well, should kill go. it. Ugh. And considering there's a lot of thugs, we should go, like, for immediately for the gold upgrade, I think. Well, and then use that? our second action to scout the trading house, which lets us put the urchin in it. Also gets us a lantern. All right, then. Which is good. And based on the fact they're probably going to be beating the shit out of my gang, get thugs next turn and buff my gang immediately. And then maybe go for the second gang upgrade. There's uh, somebody around there, so let's find out who that is. It's another henchman. Okay. That means money, money, money! Sure. Dosh, grab it where you can, lads. There we go. Thank you kindly, sir. Thugs. Straight upgrade on the gang. Okay. Let's find out what... What's that? We can afford an urchin for the trading house. Let's find out what this Hello. is, though, first. Another trading house. So, it's actually more beneficial if I put another urchin in that, because we're going to get more next turn All right, then. if we do it this way. Spread ourselves out a little bit. That's going to give us a nice big boost in tech early on. We'll find ourselves a tavern. We can get some cheaper thugs as well. So I'm not too worried about a winning by victory points. Like, you need 15 urchins to do that if you're going to be focusing on the churches. That's not something that's going to happen anytime soon. I am God. 
As for assassination, we'll worry about that later. I want whatever that was dead, though. Because I'm noticing, hey, you killed that. Oh, look, it's your gang. Well, unfortunately, I don't have enough damage to kill it. They don't have enough damage to kill mine either, though. We do need to buff ours up, though. I think I need to scout that. My, my gang's sort of the only thing earning me money right now. So I do think I need to use my second action to scout whatever that is, hope it's a henchman, which it is, and then murder it for money. Sure. And we'll have a quick look at... I'm going to up damage. I think it's going to be scout and... Yeah, it's going to be it. It's like... It's Kind of inefficient because everything goes up in price one, so I'm sort of sitting on this, but that's fine. It means I'll just I can stack it up for next turn. Not the worst thing to ever happen. Uh, we can do a scout of something this turn and burgle as well. Hello, find ourselves an estate. That's jewelry in there. Good to know. That lets us buy one more thug or an urchin. We could infiltrate the church is unscouted, right? Yeah, so I can't really infiltrate that. So I think the thug is the way to go here. Because that lets me buff my gang up again. Okay. Yeah, that early access wrestling game is Fire Pro, which is one of the best wrestling series in the world. So maybe before prejudging things, you should do a little research, eh, chat? All right. Fire Pro is known for being exceptionally good. And this, I believe, is just a HD update with a bunch more features of the previous Fire Pro game, which was one of the best wrestling games ever made. So, yeah, it will be good. And it basically does have unlimited customization. The last one, which was like 10 years old, let you make basically anybody because the customization was that good. We got ourselves a thug there. That means a little bit of money. Money, money, money. We do need to check this out first, though. I still want to know. That's probably their gang. But I do want to know that for certain. Need jewelry theft. Only way we're going to get that is by our explosives. That also gives us a free saboteur, which is always lovely. I mean, next time we can get jewelry to rob that estate. Yeah. Let's have a quick look. I want to know who that is, and then I'll decide what to do with the gang. It's just another henchman. Okay. I'd rather kill one of her thugs than a henchman. Sure. Ah. Money, money, money. Good. Up damage again, because then we could just use the gang to murder uh, the different air people there. Who were the scouted? I'm like thinking, where can I place sabotage? I don't know. I mean, I could just wait with it. I don't have to necessarily waste it. We haven't scouted that area. It is taken, whatever it is. Thinking, like, where else can I put somebody? Maybe I just pop them up another one, another church. Hmm. We also haven't scouted that area either. So on my way. let's find out what this is. I've got it. Ah, it's another state. How many have I got? One. Can I burgle? I can actually burgle that, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, so that's art. Good to know. Which we can grab art, crit Critic. Yep. Let's grab that. I've got three, so where do I spend it? I don't think anything she's got is going to kill my gang, so I'm thinking the thug isn't necessary. So I think urchin, and let's get that. Let's get another one in that training house so we can get that running at full capacity. That's being guarded. I'm sort of like slightly concerned they might bomb that estate. They attack it. Actually, no, nah, they're not going to do that, are they? She doesn't attack, so yeah, no. 
We'll just leave the saboteur where it is. We, we don't have to use it immediately. Just hold on to him. I am here. She's got one blackmail. Are they able to use thugs to do that? Or is she just like spawning a ton of urchins? Alright, there's a gang over there. Which we can kill. Which I am going to kill, because they've invested quite a lot. Blocked off with a thug, but if I have the dagger, I could clear that out quite easily. I currently don't have the dagger, so that's going to be our next goal. I'm going to use that to kill this thug, which lets... I'm going to have to scout that area to do that, because I'm going to have to go around the side. I'm currently being blocked by him. Oh, I'm actually just blocked by fucking everybody right now. I'm in the... There's a henchman right there as well. That is unfortunate. I was hoping for better than that, but hey... Is what it is. Yeah, she used thugs to block me in and trap my gang. Let's get that damage up. I'm concerned because that gang can now come around. Uh, it can't. It can't kill it. It can only do three damage. And she can't attack. That was the rules of this game. So, not actually a problem. Hello. Let's do that. All right, then. This area isn't scouted. I'm not worried about her coming around here. The training house, I am kind of a bit worried about them trying to attack. So let's set a trap on that. I can kill that thug. If I want to. Question is, do I actually want to? I do because that thug's gonna join the gang otherwise. As I say, I'm blocked. I have to scout this area. And it's gonna, it's gonna take... I can't get to him. I literally can't, because this area is unscouted. I've only got three actions, which is like... There is a character it's here, awesome. which is a henchman, who is blocking the fucking way. I think I need to kill this, so that my gang has more flexibility to move. And then we'll probably just do a burglary. a lantern by looks of it. I'm getting three lanterns per turn now. You can't double attack. You can only attack once with a... And my gang has already been used this turn. So that wasn't going to work either way. You can't double attack with a uh, thief. You can only attack once. The gang can now murder him pretty much straight up. Because I, I have the damage. First things first, I need to That's scout all. that area. He's there. Yeah. So we... Unless their gang is in range. Yeah, their gang's not in sight. So I'm just going to murder him straight up. Gets us a victory point and some money. I think we're going to go for the burglary on the estate now. For big, big money. Gets us jewelry. Well, it's going to take two actions to do it, but we can do that. And that means thugs. We can get lots of thugs out. Or just a bunch of orphans, which would be helpful too. Because we are lagging behind in that respect. Big money. Okay. So we have nine, uh, which is enough for... Two orphans or two thugs, basically, at this point. Can't get a second gang yet, don't have the tech. I'm thinking orphans, because that lets us uh, double up the trading house. What? So we'd have what? full two fully upgraded trading houses, which what? is a big tech advantage. All right, then. We could not have got around there in two actions, because we were being obstructed by a henchman which takes a third action to get around. Also, you could have or he could have is literally useless information, as we pointed out. Unless you are a time traveler, there is no point in saying that.
Uh oh. Ah, shit. She got it. Should have. I was thinking about. Oh no, I think she only. No, she didn't get it. Or did she? Did she bypass thugs? Because it looked like she went in that building, but I'm not sure she did. A bit weird. Oh, we got a possibility of a straight up assassination here. But his ga her gang is in range, and that's a straight kill, so yeah. I don't see any reason not to kill her gang. Sure. That's a big investment that she's just lost. I think she only scouted it, yep. Which means... That's ah, blocked. Fuck. Uh, thugs can't kill people, right? They can just block. That's my understanding of thugs, yeah? Oh, I'm not the assassin, though. If I get expert scout... That will give me four actions, which would let me get through their burgle lat. Do I have art thief, though? I don't... Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah. So, expert scout is the way to go. That gives me the four actions I need to... Oh, no, I can't. Yes, I can. I... No. Yes. No, I can't. It... Everything is blocked. No, I can. I kill that henchman. Second to scout. I have scouted that, so third to kill henchman. Wait, do I... Can I kill the henchman? Because I've or... I would have already used the dagger once that turn. That still doesn't work, does it? Or does that actually count? Yeah, you need to attack twice. And if I do that, that opens it up for her to steal it. So I should not do that. She's probably going to get it next turn at one way or the other. Unless... Oh, yeah. Sabotage! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And then we open it up as a nice little present for the lovely. Yes. Well, we can't obviously open it up because we can't attack twice, but we can clear the path. <laughs> yep, sabotage is ignore blockades. You can get... Uh, saboteur can't be stopped by anything. That's why he's good. We should really tear that church while we're here. How about do I get another thug? Again, thugs... Thugs don't attack, yes? They're just, they're just block. That's the main problem I've got here, is just the amount of thugs. But we are about... I think about to either get assassins or second gang, so... We're going to be clearing these guys out pretty fast. We haven't actually scouted that yet, so we can't really do much with it. In fact, this orphan actually is completely useless in this position. Because I haven't... Hmm scout at anything, but it's not like we can't. On it. I'm here. I'm on it. Can't stand it. I know you planned it. Oh, yes. What's that? Uh, let's use our last turn to do something useful. I think just, like, for pure gold earnings, like... We open up this area. Look at that. We don't know what this is. Find it next turn. We're going to get some serious lanterns, though. I'm liking it. We have a technologically advanced thieves guild toy out. Oh, good. Another jeweler. Oh, fuck. She built an assassin. Well, I got good value out of my gang. She's got more blackmail as well. Still has three, three victory points to go, though. Oh, she tried to sabotage the saboteur. Oh, yeah. Lost an urchin. Dogs can't... Uh, he's, she's got a gang up again. Well, that was actually really unfortunate for me. Hoping for better, certainly. But it is what it is. All right. We do have a lot of tech, though. Truant officer. Get a free assassin is not bad. I still want to head up. I'm still thinking second gang is the way to go, though. And it's going to take a little bit of effort to get there. Oh, they lose a victory point if you're a Vic from the church? Are you sure about that? 
That doesn't sound right. We could go through an officer and completely screw them. The problem is we know they have a gang out, so the truant officer could get easily... No, the truant officer doesn't get killed because he comes back to base. That's how it works, right? I think. I hope. Hope that's how it works. Hmm. Uh, it's a tough one. Tough call. Where do I go from here? Our gang is dead. Uh, they have another gang over here. There's a stun saboteur who I'd love to kill, but it's being blocked off by all this shit. Um, I'm going to assume an assassin probably goes right through that. The main problem being that I can't remember exactly the rules of the assassin. Lamplighter save cracker is maybe the worst possible thing I could do right now, so no. Considering the pressure we're under, you absolutely do not tech during that. You have to get something that has an immediate impact on the game before you completely lose momentum. What we can do is we can hit this, which is going to give us another two... Well, that's going to give us a bunch more money. Got it. Which will give us a ton more flexibility. Let's just get our gang back. Let's just get a thug to immediately upgrade the gang. Getting rid of their gang wouldn't be a bad idea. Stun, I believe, is two turns long. Although I could be wrong, because it would be nice to get rid of that saboteur. Hmm. Gotta spend this correctly. I think... The other thing I could do is... I have eight. I go assassin, and then immediately another assassin. Am I allowed two? That's a big spend to kill those two characters, or alternatively to kill one of those characters and immediately kill the Cardinal. Stuns one turn, so we need- if we're gonna kill a Saboteur, we have to do it now. Do- it. I'm not gonna invest six to kill three, though. That doesn't make any sense. I think we- we absolutely get the gang, 100%. The concern I've got is if we kill- that thug... Eh, actually, that actually happens one way or the other, doesn't it? Yeah. Ah, it's blocked, though. So let's Hello. scout. If we scout that, then they can get around that way. Which means we can use the gang to kill the thug. Let's go. And then if we get our own thug, we can get our gang up a little bit extra HP, so they won't be able to do anything about it. We go immediately to damage, I think. Still thinking about that assassin and what else I can do here. I have one more go of this. I would love to rob this, but I've already used What's my that? dagger. If I get an urchin back in there, I'm getting that trading house. If I put another... Because I'm really thinking they're going to send another person in. So I'm thinking put a saboteur on the trading house. Oh, we... And then the extra urchin. Oh. So if they try to do that again, that... Probably, they'll probably try to use the gang to evict. What? So the gang gets stunned, and then we can kill the gang easily. Uh, I'm thinking we go truant officer. The problem is we don't have scouting information on anything of theirs. Hmm. Unless I can scout the church this turn, which I actually can, I think. No, you've got to infiltrate, don't you? Which I actually can't do. If I burgled that with that scout, it doesn't count, does it? You've got to go right in. I only have one action. Hmm. I want the two gangs tech. The problem is I need safe cracker. Um, which so I could go. Sure, go that and then that next turn. I still think I need something else to put impact on the board right now. Assassin is... Would be a way of doing that. Truant officer right now would not. It is a bit of an investment to use an assassin just to kill a basic gang, but it does swing the game back in my favor. So, and then I could just buy assassins... 
I mean, I could just use it to kill him, but that's not going to benefit me right now. So I think we do just use the assassin to kill that gang, honestly. Truant officer gives more actions? Does it? No, it doesn't. Let's do it. It leads to more actions, yes, but it doesn't give more actions right now. Which is what we need. Alright, we've used the dagger. Let's um burgle this. She's already been in there. It leads to more, but it doesn't give us it yet. That assassin is good. If we can make the money, especially by continually hitting this estate every time it resets, we can kill off a lot of characters. Plus, of course, kill the cardinal friends from Victory Point. I am God. What? Hmm. Yep, shouldn't have got two out of that. Already nicked the good stuff. She is getting a lot of money. So that is something that if we can, we should try and stop. The second gang tech would help us with that. The truant officer would help us with that. So now would be the time we hit the truant officer. We scout their good stuff and we kick all their urchins out of it with the truant officer. Yeah, one of these buildings is trapped. I don't know which. Hello. Because the saboteur well, uh, did run off. On my way. Hopefully it's not that. Yeah. You? Nope. We're not going to let you live. Of course. Ah! Good, good, good. Like to see that. A little bit of money. The question is, do we attempt that? Is that a trap? Could be. Could be. The other thing we could do is hit the art right now. I mean, we could do both. Um, also a possibility that this is trapped. Well, it's just not. Okay. Which does make me think the Cardinal's in might be. So it's a bit of a risk to send the truant officer there and leave him open to getting killed. But it might be worth it. I guess it's the extra, which means next turn we can get Master Scout. I think it's worth the effort. It's worth the attempt. Hello, children. It was not trapped. That's three out of the church. Big deal. And she does lose the victory point, okay? You do actually have to hold it. Yeah, holding five churches? Not gonna happen. That's a... Yeah, you, you're not gonna be able to manage that. Uh, bomb expires in two turns. And he placed it this turn, so wherever the bomb is, it... would, have, would still be up. Alright, we have five gold. No actions left there. I think... It's like, we either go Urchin. Urchin would take that church immediately, which is pretty good, because that's extra gold. It also means they have to commit to getting people out of it. So I think grabbing that is a good bet. Good. And next time we get the five action thief. Ball might be in Wormwood, I don't know. Hard to see. You don't, you don't get to see where it is. They do have a lot of thugs, and that is annoying. And they're 2 HP as well, so if we need the better dagger, if we can get it. Oh, Art's back up here. That may very well be what we want to get. So if we go Master Scout, that gives us the additional action. Then we can hit the estate pretty much immediately to get two more Landons. 
before she is able to grab it. Yoink. I like it, I like it. If I can get one more lantern, I could get reinforced steel. That would be kind of lovely. Question is, how do we do that? I've got three actions. We've already killed something. Uh, we do have our gang, though. Which is doing a pretty good job murdering this and getting lots of money out of it. We need to upgrade our gang before they murder them again. Although she'll probably just she's got the money for an assassin. She'll probably uh, she'll have the money for an assassin next turn. She'll probably just use the assassin to kill the gang. I don't know, it's a big investment though, even if she does. So it's not the worst thing to ever happen. Okay, thug. Okay. And an urchin, I think. Or we go double thug. I don't see the point in double thug. Uh, because I think she doesn't have a gang, and even if she does get one, there's no way she could do enough damage to kill that gang in one turn. If she do the only thing she can do is assassin, and I can't stop that one way or the other, so... The logical course of action here, I think, is put more urchins Hello. in churchins. So... Hello. Also, what the hell is all of this? Oh, okay, so he has another gang there. Only one attack, though. Can I get there? I absolutely can't. I'm just too blocked. But I can get here. Maybe. Another fucking henchman. Yeah, we gotta start some serious clear out of that stuff. The obstruction of it has just been infuriating. Our orphanage right there, useful. We definitely need that if we can get it. Can't get there right now, though. Can't access that church, hasn't scouted it. This is the safer church to what level up. Why? It actually isn't. She's completely scouted it, so it's not at all the safer church, but... So that's to do six damage, yes, which you can't get a gang higher than, I don't believe. Yeah, this particular opponent is all about controlling pathways. Oh, that's nice. That might that gets him within killing range. If we take the dagger tech. And honestly, if he keeps just beating on it. We can go bet there with Dagger Tech and we get the win off it. Yeah, I think Reinforced Steel is the way to go here. That lets us attack that, then finish with the gang for money and a victory point. go damage all right what else we got so we've used that we can't scout the orphanage it's blocked can't scout that i'd like to know what that is to the state okay can't get to it because it's blocked but at this point it's like rob stuff uh rob stuff lots just get money and get more stuff on the board. Is that all? Yes. So we have not robbed these. I've got it. That's already been burgled. On it. Right, that gives us like 14 <laughs> gold. The 13 gold, so we just spend big. We can get that. We can get. thinking truancy officer but I can't get to any area that's useful with it what so we go urchin on the ch ah it's blocked 
can't do anything about that. Well, I can. I could use an assassin, but I'm not using an assassin to kill a fucking thug. That's a massive investment. But, if that urchin can't do anything, it might not be the worst idea. Because she's just blocked off everything at this point. We really need that second gang. Do I really want to spend eight on an assassin? I don't know, I've got big money, I could do it. Or I just buy a bunch of my own thugs to start blocking her paths to prevent her from continually sending thugs to block everything of mine. We're gonna use one thug to buff our gang, second thug to start blocking off pathways so that she can't keep doing this shit. Gang's blocking there. I don't know what else we could really do. Um, she's already all the way over here. We could guard that area, I guess, so that she can't send anybody around the other side of the trading house. Okay. I can't move the gang. Oh, I can. I can't. Yeah, I can move the gang. No, well, I can move the gang. I can move them, but no, I can't. I've already used them. Sorry. Yeah, of course I can't. What am I talking about? Oh, uh, let's spend the last one on a saboteur. Sabotage the estate again, maybe? That worked pretty well last time. Or put a saboteur in the Cardinal's Inn. Uh, I can't imagine she's going to let me keep that. Yeah, I'm thinking that might work. <laughs> Can we get a second gang now? Nope. <laughs> Still haven't quite got there. It's entirely my fault. Should have got this ages ago. It's like barely even worth it now. Yeah, we need to get that second gang. It's pretty much essential, I think, on this level. You're not going to get anywhere without that. Speaking of gang, I can only attack one thing with that. I can I can straight up kill their gang. I need to clear out some of this bullshit though. I'm not gonna get anywhere otherwise. Like that one in particular. Who kills who? I think we use our thief to kill that one. We use our gang to kill their gang. Yeah, of course. Give us some good money. Get the damage up, which means we can easily murder assassination targets. I did forget. That was very dumb. I should have dealt with that. It's like, oh yeah, that thing. Uh, yes. We do have safe cracker now, so burglary is a good option. Don't quote me on that. For me. We can get a good amount of money from just hitting the middle here. On my way. Yes. Hello. I think we should get two. No, we don't. Yeah, we, we do get extra from these because of that. It's like, is there any way to get extra lanterns? Not right now. We've dealt with some of the blockages. We can get second gang next turn, though. Let's have a look at that estate over there. Ooh, big, huge money. It was unguarded? Wow. Okay. That was a surprise. All right. We can go, like, um, two assassins, I think. 
if we want to, but I'm just like, I'm not going to use two assassins to kill us, but I think getting one assassin to get rid of that isn't the worst idea ever now. It's like, yeah, okay, it's a huge fucking investment, but at this point, I'm drowning in money, so who cares? It's like, what's the point in having money if you don't spend it? All right, then. And then that's dug up a bit. To protect that. One okay. fucks a guard there, so she has to work her way through. Because I think she hits that church with a truant officer pretty much immediately. I should have actually got a saboteur. But if I put a guard here okay. as well, she can't do that. Actually, she can, because it's... No, no, she can't. No, she can't. I'm right. I think. That's that last little orphan right it. there. The other thing I could have done is gone double orphan and take the church, but I like this better. It's a bit safer. And then I think next turn I can probably win. If I just kill the target and then hit the church with one, that's a win. Ah, shit, she found a way around. I only one urchin evicted, though. That's not a well-upgraded gang, so that's not the worst thing to ever happen. Okay. Can I win this turn? Because I can buy the second bribe for seven. Get the church back get that, and that's a win, right? If I have the money for it, which I can get from using the gang to get it. So I think the first thing you do is you use the... Ah, that's blocked. By what? Oh, shit, she blocked him in. Okay, nice. use this to kill that. Send the gang to kill that. That gets an urchin back in the church and the money to do it. So you gotta get rid of that thug, because otherwise that gang can't move. <laughs> oh! We do take the second bribe. Yeah. The gang kills their gang. No. Yes, yes. Uh, sorry, I keep forgetting. That's my focus. Uh, yeah. The gang kills their gang, which gives us, what, three or four points? Three. Which gives us up to seven. So we get two urchins and then win, I think. What? Assuming that I was correct. Oh, fuck, there's that thug. Um, get money, assassin, win. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I okay. uh, just burgle the fuck out of everything. There's money in there right now. Get an assassin, kill that with the assassin, win. Yes, we can kill them all. Because ah. we just buy an assassin to do it. Tell me who. Of course. <laughs> Bonk. Uh, we're, and we have two actions, which is enough to I'm get here. Burgle enough to get the last orphan All we right need. Then. What's that? So we just need to rob that, get the orphan, and we're done. Oi. There you Let's go. go. And that's a win. There we go. Cool. That was fun. It's a really good game. I like it a lot. I, I hope I can get to play against Jesse. I think uh, multiplayer obviously is very good. Didn't even need the same gang, really. Would have been hella helpful if I'd rushed that earlier, though. Because there was like so many thugs to farm.
It's nice though. It's uh, available on Steam right now for $13. Uh, it does have the online mode, which is where the main meat of the game is, but you do also have Skirmish with a ton of different customizable rule options available as well. So there is definitely a lot to see and to do if you are into the idea of a digital board game, which I absolutely am. It's a work placement game, basically, for all intents and purposes, but it's very nice to put together. I like it. They do need to... I would say they need to redo the tutorial a bit, because, again, it... Uh, by putting false restrictions on you and not explaining that it's doing that, it confuses the player into believing things that aren't true, so it doesn't explain the rules that well, and also, tap is not a thing on PC, so stop it. Otherwise, great game. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and I will see you next time.